G'day everybody, Wong here. Um, that little thing there with the whole MP7 video on the cool like spinning thing. I actually got the music from a friend of the channel, Mr. Simmons. He's an absolute legend. I love chatting with him. He was one of the first people I met through Battlebit. Yeah, he's a really, really good bloke. So check it out here and here. I'll probably put a link. I, I definitely will put a link as the pinned comment and in the description as well. So check it out and support him if you can. So today's video, as I said earlier, will be the MP7 video. Now, I wasn't too excited to make this video because it's one of those guns where it's like the reasons why it's good aren't exactly uh you know a hidden thing everyone kind of knows why the mp7 is good it kills really really quickly and it has pretty good handling stats the only downside really is the reload speed but um we'll, you know we'll go into more detail when i actually get to the stats section and then after that i'll be doing a standing section where i'll compare it to some other guns and then i will as always show some builds but honestly this time i only really want run one build with this gun anyways yeah i'll just show my build and then i'll talk about the play style for this gun and then i'll move on to the live commentary. So anyways, let's move on with the video. Alrighty, so the stats for the MP7. First things first, we have 25 damage, which gives us a 4 shot kill against flesh, and we have a 950 fire rate, which is a little bit faster than the FAMAS, and this gives us a time to kill of 189 milliseconds. This is really quickly approaching straight up reaction time, which is really crazy. That's a very, very competitive time to kill. Um, faster than reaction time is obviously going to be insane, but even if you're on a flank. This gun's uptime isn't amazing, spoilers, but, so, but even on a flank, just this time to kill will be fantastic you'll be killing people pretty much no matter what which is nice which is definitely nice so let's have a look what are the downsides that balance this out because you might be thinking there's probably some well if we look at the recoil we have one one and one that means that all the recoil is pretty okay that it's not big in any way and it's not super duper small it's not incredibly small and it's not incredibly large you might be thinking the one horizontal would suck on a 950 it honestly doesn't it's actually pretty fine i i totally do not try to edit it really at all with the attachments so let's have a look what else would maybe do be a downside velocity at 350 that's a downside 350 velocity is really really slow you have to lead your shots an absolute crap ton which i think is good for an smg i like to imagine you know like smaller bullets not traveling as far and things like that along with the velocity i don't have it here maybe i should start adding it to the videos who knows but the damage drop off of this thing happens quickly and then the actual drop itself is also very quick so you'll start losing damage at i don't remember exactly off the top of my head but it might be around 50 meters ish and then you will be at minimum damage very very soon after so this gun does not do very well at range and because the damage is 25 as soon as it dips you're becoming a five shot kill also really quickly um, i've got the armor chart down the bottom there against light armor it becomes a five shot kill already so that is a downside definitely granted one extra bullet on 950 fire rate isn't too bad at all i'm, I'm pretty sure you'd actually still be getting quite a competitive time to kill there so what else could be a potential downside the reload time is four seconds that wow. definitely sucks now the reason it actually sucks pretty bad even though you can get a quick mag and an grip on this gun is the fast reload isn't actually incredibly fast so yeah this gun's reload can feel a little bit sluggish but because of the time to kill you're honestly chilling like you you will just be okay at brawling even though the reload speed's bad there's actually one of the few guns that i do well with even with its bad reload so you know do with that what you will nothing else really too much to mention the aim down time's really fast 150 milliseconds that's good yeah honestly that's about it really so let's move on to the standings and where i think this gun fits in the meta Alrighty, so I have some guns over there to the right that I'm going to compare it to. First thing I'm going to do is actually compare it to the FAMAS. Now, the reason I do that is because a viewer, when I was doing a video on the FAMAS, actually introduced me to this concept. I'd never, ever compared the FAMAS and the MP7 before, but they actually have the same damage number, and the FAMAS's fire rate's only slightly slower, which actually, in my opinion, leads to a very good discussion on, as to these guns' comparison. So, if you really like the FAMAS, you have a potential to like the MP7, but I actually really like the FAMAS because it's a man of range for its damage for me it's very surprising how good it is at range because it's fire rate and recoil make you think it'd be bad at range but because it's damage drop off is so good you actually end up being able to melt pretty good at range with the FAMAS and the up close FAMAS gameplay is not too bad either. Now imagine the up close FAMAS gameplay but just even better and that's what the FAMAS that's what the MP7 feels like. You lose out on the range but you keep that close range engagement and you actually do a little bit better because your mag's a bit bigger. I personally really like the MP7 and I personally really like the FAMAS 
podcast and that commenter has introduced me as to why I mean they're, they're very similar I still think that if you're a conquest player you might tend to the FAMAS a bit more but if you're playing frontline or Soundland or Frugus and you're thinking well I really like the FAMAS why not give another gun a go try out the MP7 now you might be thinking what's going on with the MP5 so the reason I'm comparing it to the MP5 is because the MP5 the way it's damage is is it actually beats the MP7's time to kill against particular armors but then against others it doesn't now I do not remember the armors off the top of my head but I just wanted to compare the two because people often go well the MP7 kills faster it's amazing but the MP5 against armor actually can kill quicker so the MP5 if you like the MP7 that doesn't necessarily mean you'll like the MP5 though because the MP5's reload doesn't get to quite as good as the MP7's I actually personally prefer the MP7 or the MP5, but I actually also would totally understand if you prefer the MP5. So I would say that these two are very similar in comparison, but I personally make the MP7 an S tier on my tier list and I put the MP5 at the top of A tier. I just think that the flesh damage thing with the MP7 really makes it better for me and the reload speed being a bit faster makes it better for me. I also would say that the MP7, in my opinion, is the best SMG. And I actually also think, surprisingly, I cannot believe this, but I think the PP2000 is also getting quite close. But um, anyways, moving on. So I said this earlier, but I only really use one build with the MP7, and here it is. I get the quick aim A, the ERT grip, and the short suppressor. I don't say it here, but I also use the uh, reflex side a fair bit. Now granted, if you're a newer player and you're having a tough time, chuck a tactical barrel and a vertical grip on it, and you'll do a lot better. But I am not going to lie to you, I generally put the builds up that I use, and this is all I use. I do not use anything else. I just think the gun's recoil is good enough for me to just use this. The playstyle for the MP7, it is very much so get in close try to hip fire as much as you can and just shred literally you don't have to worry about headshots too much at all you should just run in kill a guy fast reload don't even pick up the mag and just keep going and keep melting through people if you're a high kpm player or if you were looking to drop um your first ever like you know 180 kills game or a 161 kill game or something you know like a high amount of kills for your first time ever this would probably be a really good gun to be the first gun you do it with this or the p90 probably but um if you're a conquest player i honestly think this gun's okay it might be good if you were playing on certain maps but honestly in conquest i actually value guns with a little bit more range but um yeah, honestly, there's not really much else to say. This gun's pretty good. The reload speed won't catch you out if you run the quick A and the ERK. You could still do all right. Um, there's not really much else to say. High damage. It's just kind of good at everything. Try your hardest not to fight people at range, and that's all I can say. So, um, yeah, anyways, moving on to the live commentary. Alrighty, g'day everybody. Um, this is going to be the MP7 live commentary. I feel really bad. I actually just, um, this is a huge shame. I was just doing a live commentary and really, really frustratingly, we were on a game of Frontline, which is fine. That's not frustrating. And I was playing really good and I was trying to show you guys what true high KPM looks like. Um, and I was trying to show that it's a bit rushy and a little bit less skill based than you expect. It, no, it is skill based. It is skill based. That is not the right term. It's just, instead of making really good decisions, you kind of have to just make as many decisions as you can, and you just sort of rush and die over and over again, but every now and again you get a bunch of kills. And so I was trying to show that in a video, and I thought it'd be a really interesting opportunity to show you guys, because this gun actually supports that playstyle really, really, really well. And I wanted to show off an actual hyperspeed playstyle, because I had a, someone in my comments in my last couple of videos, um, which really, this, this comment actually upset me, not to like, you know, call this guy out, but the comment upset me. And it said that, you know, oh, you say that supports are deterrent and things and like the movement speed, thing, movement speed is a problem for the MG36. You know, maybe you shouldn't just play the hyper rush gameplay and you wouldn't care. And I, I, that upset me because, you know, I have a thousand kills on every gun. I tried all the play styles. You know what I mean? Like I've tried them all. I, I know that you might think I play fast just because I get a lot of kills, but in reality, I don't play that quickly. I, I generally don't play the fast KPM playstyle with the SMGs very much at all. I only do it every now and again when I'm on with some fellas who are all doing it, and I'm thinking, all right, let's, you know, let's try to compete a little bit, but I don't normally. So um, anyways, I wanted to show a gameplay of what that actually looks like, because it looks very different to what I think a lot of you guys think. Um, like actually W keying without thinking, but um, you know, whatever. Anyways, anyway, sorry to like start this off with a bit of a bummer um, sort of thing, but um, yeah, anyways, we were partway through a frontline match where I was showing it off really, really well, and we the match ended so fast that it just wouldn't be good for a live commentary. So I'm gonna try to do it here on domination, 
but it's honestly not going to look the same. So I'm going to W key really, really hard here and show you guys what that kind of actually looks like. It doesn't look like what it normally, my normal gameplay looks like. It'll look very different. Um, granted, it will yield really high kills generally, but um, you know, it is what it is. Alrighty, I'm going to head towards C because that's being capped by the enemies. I know A is our team is capping it, but um, oh, whoopsies, that was really, really bad. Hey, Scrap, they're a viewer, I'm pretty sure. Alrighty, cool beans. Let's head towards C. I know I said headshots don't really matter with this gun too much, but the headshots do make it better and everything, as every gun does, but the body shot's are already so good that it doesn't really matter too much. See, right there, even that sort of range where that guy was in the valley, the velocity made me lead more than I expected. Like, I had to lead way more than I thought. So I actually ended up missing a few shots, and that could have resulted in a death from someone else if they were all aiming at me. See how fast this gun kills? You guys see what I'm talking about now when I say the time to kill kind of makes up for the bad damage drop-off? Right there, the, the gun just... If there's a guy on my screen, I can just kill him. Like, it's, it's, it is one of... Oh, whoa, what the hell? I hit my, um... I actually hit R and X just then. I don't know how I just did that, but I actually hit R and X. X makes that little noise, that noise right there, um, because that's my mute on Discord noise for when I'm streaming. And then I actually press R and of course reloaded my gun, which confused the heck out of me. Right here, I'm just, because I'm playing the hyper W key sort of gameplay, I'm literally just rushing and fast reloading every time I reload. And I'm not even picking up my mags. I'm literally just fast reloading and keep pushing because that is the W key play style. That's how you get a high KPM. You don't play for the long run, you just play as fast as possible, which in my opinion is not super epic. Um, I wish the game... I wish that playstyle felt more measured and like tactical, because I'm, I'm more of a tactical gamer at heart as opposed to like a COD gamer, but... I don't disrespect it. I do not think that people should be disrespecting the high KPM players and going, Oh, all you're doing is farming noobs and you suck and you know... Just, you know, I think they're owed respect. A lot of high KPM players actually do play incredibly well and they have really good aim, really good movement. And their intuition's really, really good, but, um, yeah, anyways. That being said, though, I do believe the high KPM players need to stop crapping on the casuals. They'll be like, oh, you're a, you're a bot who uses the Ultimax, or you're a bot who does this, and it's kind of like, just chillax, you know? People just trying to play their game, dude, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of negativity from both extremes, but honestly, I, I know the majority of players don't care, um, one way or another, but, you know, I'd just like to see more positivity come out of it, because I think that... We should be holding each other up, not putting each other down. When a high KPM player sees someone using the Ultimax, they're going, bro, you're a bot, like, why are you using that gun? Maybe be like, wow, you just dropped, like, a really nice, you know, you just dropped, like, an 80 kill gun with the Ultimax. Well done. You know what I mean? That's tough. I don't use the Ultimax. It's a tough gun to use. Instead of being like, oh, using the Ultimax? Bro, why don't you use the MP7? You know what I mean? I, I just, I don't know. G granted, in OCE, we don't have too many people doing that at all, if, if any. I just see a lot of people in my comments used to sort of be like that, and it was a bit like, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I don't think that we're the same kind of player at all. All right, right here, I should be whipping out the C4, but just to show you how good the MP7 is, I'm going to use that instead. C4 would have been better because it's literally instant, but, um, you know, the video is about the MP7. I want to show you how close to instant really is. This is very, very close. Okay, I'm actually going to do a slow reload here because i got tons of time. Oh, I think I do at least, but it turns out... Oh, okay. That guy kept going. I thought he would drop on his side of the wall, but he didn't. That was very interesting. Honestly, this... Um, I know it might not seem like... It might seem like, wow, Mr. Wong's playing really, really good now. This is really hard to do whilst doing a live commentary, like playing this fast. It seems very... feels very difficult. I probably should finish this guy off. That's a different guy. Big shame. 32 kills right now for domination in this amount of time is actually pretty good. I even would say I'm doing... I don't know, I think I'm doing pretty good for domination, especially on district. Old district, I don't know, but new district, yeah. This is tough. Checking my right before I kill this guy, just because I don't want someone to be behind me. Hey, that's a view of the channel. How you going? Sorry if you think I'm being a bit sweaty right now, because I honestly am. I'm just showing you guys what actually trying to maximize KPM looks like. Like, I'm not really thinking too much. I'm literally just playing aim, which... I know a lot of you think I do that normally, but as you can probably tell by watching, this looks very different from my normal gameplay. Um, I, I know I keep kind of saying that a lot, and I'm probably rambling, but I just, I don't want someone to watch this, I say it once, and then they go throughout the video and they go, man, I do not like watching one play like this, this guy does WK. Play. Please compare it to my normal gameplay and be like, oh, I see, you know, like he doesn't actually well, WK and not think. This is WKing and not thinking. But anyways, let's, um, let's continue. 
I'll spawn here, why not? Alrighty. Dang, got a headshot there. I think if I got a couple more, he would have gone down, but it's all good. Alright, let's have a look here. I'm throwing a grenade because there's a huge pile down near that water thing. Ooh, I sort of see someone. Dang, I'm down. Might be able to get res. Nah. Alright, I want to start going around because we're all kind of getting stuck here. Ooh, this might be a good throw. Gonna do this. Not gonna look behind me because there's kills in front of me. Oh no! Honestly, I could have played way better and I probably could have gotten that close kill, but the velocity was so slow that I sort of, um. Like, it's hard to explain, but the velocity is slow, so I missed my first couple of shots, meaning I didn't get the kill. Gonna ignore that guy with the DMR who I got killed by earlier. Okay, no, never mind. This guy, I gotta kill this guy before I move up. Oh, really nice kill from him. He must have hit a headshot. See, that's why the AK-74 is really good. See how I'm using one of the best time to kill guns, yet he could still compete? That's what I mean. The, the AK-74 is super underrated. Um, a very, very good gun. Kills very quickly with headshots. Oopsies. Okay, let's keep moving. Honestly, in my opinion, that was a really good kill. Um, I know I'm kind of going quiet, so you can tell I'm sweating pretty hard, but in my opinion, that guy's movement was good and my, my aim was actually good enough to compete with him. Let's have a look here. See, the uptime of this gun is very good. Right now, you should be whipping out the C4. I should have whipped it earlier, but once again, I want to show you guys what the MP7 looks like, so I'm going to keep doing it. Sorry for spamming the scoreboard there. Oh, what's this? Damn, that's a shame. Knocked his helmet off. More dragons doing pretty good here. I want to respawn here. This would be a really good spawn. Dang, that's a shame. That's hard to fight there in an open area. I probably actually should have stuck more to the center of the hill instead of running into the open, but once again, because I'm W keying and not thinking, I kind of am making some bad decisions. So every now and again it gets you killed, but most of the time it actually ends up resulting in a ton of kills. Dang, that's a shame. I actually got a few lives here where I'm doing pretty bad, so I'm going to try to do a little bit better. I still think the enemies are still going for D, so I'm going to stay here to get more kills. Um, that's my bad, I didn't mean to fall, I actually meant to do something else. Alright, let's go in here and kill these enemies. There's no one here, cool. There's that guy. That's how you know this gun kills really fast, if you saw how quick these kills are. That's a shame. Really good shooting from our enemies here, to be honest. I think they're all starting to catch on to the fast movement playstyle, and they're actually all probably tryharding as well. Um, maybe, I don't know. Their aim is really, really good, though, so I, I would not blame them for doing it. If they're dying over and over, I don't blame you for going, alright, and, you know... Switching to gamer stance and just like fucking, you know, going as hard as you can and playing as much as you can. Okay. This is turning into one of those sort of situations where I can't really get any kills, so I'm going to change up my playstyle drastically. Hmm. Right here, okay, okay, I should probably start using C4 here. Right here, I'm like, my brain is like, use C4, but then I'll consciously not use it. But honestly, um, I think I should be using C4 here. So I'm going to start doing that. I'll res this person, why not? I won't heal them, but I will res them. Okay. Alright, that's pretty good there. Oh, that's a shame. I was out of bullets. That's a big shame. 71 kills right now, and we're not that far into the game. If you guys notice, that's 2-8 and 2-5. Um, that's pretty good, and I'm getting 78 kills already, so I'm doing pretty good. Granted, this server doesn't have more tickets, but Domination itself does have more tickets, so it's actually been a little bit of a time here. Um, a little bit under half the match. Okay, and there we go. This is the first time where I'm going to have to switch squads, I think. And go somewhere else. Hmm. Don't know. No, maybe I will go back to my old one. Oh, this is my old one, but it'll be fine. Whip out my pistol and now move on. Granted, I, I, I probably could have gotten a lot more kills there. 
but I was just doing what I said and I was just kind of rushing and rushing and rushing. Right there, you probably want to actually play it a little bit slower, go on a flank instead to print some kills, but I just... It's like I'm seduced by the time to kill of this gun. It's so quick that when I'm playing this sort of playstyle, I kind of get locked into these thought loops where I just want to push, 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 push. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Really good kill there from uh, Custard. I want to say the whole name. Not that it's banned on YouTube or anything. It's just grotty. <laughs> grotty damn. Oh my. Okay. Not really. I want to go back to C in a moment, but not just yet. I'm just going to run away. Okay. Let me throw a grenade like this. Got one headshot. My red hit marker's headshot hit marker. Really good shooting from this guy. Oh, I thought he died. <laughs> I was going to say, really good shooting from the guy up top. I, I thought he died, so that's why I um, didn't expect him to be there. Dang, tough. These kills just got away from me. Very annoying. Dang, that could have been way more kills. I need back up here. Tough, breaking armor all around. Tough, man, tough. Tell you what, I'm gonna... This is getting really, really hard, not gonna lie. I'm having a way harder time than I normally do right now. Oh, wow, there you go. Alright, let me play a little bit more, less W key, because, um, you know. Oh, man. Normally when you're doing this playstyle, you just roll with the punches, but now I know that it's on recording, I'm sort of like, I don't want to die over and over, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even want to off camera, it just feels cringy, but it's also like, I know that when I'm trying to maximize KPM, sometimes you just got to roll with the punches, you just got to keep, keep kind of pushing, you know? Dang, that's such a shame. Wow. Alrighty. Right here, we're getting into the same situation as earlier, so time to actually play it different. The way I'm doing that is by playing really far back. I'm going to start having a look. Mm. Okay, let's move down into the reeds here so it's harder to see me. Running along the side, trying to stick to the right here as much as possible so I don't go on the water. Okay, I just got sniped in front of me, that's good. Wow, oh, that guy was shooting at me um, pretty early there, that's a shame. Spawn in here and go left now, they know it's a bit more clear again. Whoa, 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 did not know it looked like that. Look at all that armor I'm taking off without actually killing him. Let me move up like this. That's the damage drop-off thing I was talking about. Ooh. This is really hard. Damn, that's a shame. Got 92 kills here, which is pretty good. I've done it pretty quick around, this would be around half length for a conquest game and I got 100 kills already. I might be able to get 200 if I play really hard, I actually might be able to, which would be pretty surprising on a domination for me at least, like that would be very surprising. We'll have to see how we do. And we're getting pretty lucky that the enemies are tending towards D right now to be honest. Um, I think that's a big reason as to why I'm getting a lot of kills, because they are clumping up a fair bit. If I was using C4 more often I'd probably have more kills, but, you know. Anyways, anyways, I, I'm kind of just saying the same thing over and over again because this gameplay honestly doesn't provide me with a whole lot of like... Oh, it's hard to explain, like sustainable conversation that's good, you know what I mean? Because it, it really is just rushing. Um, maybe I could talk about my problems with it, but I don't want to be a, like a downer for the whole video, you know what I mean? Like, it's tough to think of good conversation whilst I'm doing this. Let's move in like this. Okay, I'm holding my body to the left of this wall so the people up top can't see me as easily if they were to peek me. I'm going to switch to C4 here. I'm going to jump over the top. The reason I go C4 is because I'm so tagged up that I want something that has an instant time to kill as opposed to something that doesn't, like my MP7. I'm actually going to pick it up just whilst I have a chance to sit still. Oh, that's tough. Oh, this is really tough. This is tough. Damn, that's a really big shame. Right, let me spawn here and go back to that position. I did not play very good here. There's too many targets on my screen to choose who to shoot at. Good kill there. Got headshot by the org just then. <laughs> my girlfriend's out there laughing. 
Holy moly. Oh man. Alright, let me... Man, I want to switch squads and get a better sort of thing going. Alright, crossing this bridge is really, really, really tough, but I think I should be alright. Just because there's so many teammates in between me and the enemy objective, I think I'll be fine. Let's move up. Saw a guy on the roof there. I'm going to pre-aim him. Oh, he's moved. Or oh, he was a bit further back, I think, than I thought. Going to do this to heal really quick. Going to move up. Going to do this. Because I saw that guy above. Wait, whoa, 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 was this a guy? Oh, never mind, it was a dead guy. Okay. That person's mic had birds chirping in it, which I think is funny. Where are all the enemies at? I guess they were all on D. Now that we have D, it sucks. Yo, it's Cheeto, what a legend. This guy's really, really good. He had to go on our 4v4 server, but because he's from Southeast Asia or just Asia, maybe like China, I don't actually remember. Um, they had a lot of ping, so they had a really tough time playing on the 4v4. We definitely want to get more servers, but right now we actually aren't allowed to purchase any. Dang, that's a shame. I really want to get some more kills there, but Cheeto's cleaning them up. Oh, whoopsies. The reason I do that is because I know my time to kill is really fast, so even with Pika's advantage there on top of my velocity, I'd be like totally fine. Or what? Okay, let me should jump over here. I'm going to do this even though it's stupid, but once again, we're W keying, so it's totally fine to be dumb every now and again. Because sometimes, right, roll the dice off of a W key, sometimes you get two kills just like that instead of dying, which is um really big shame that's how it works, but that's just how it be. I'm trying to get close here to C4, just because I'm out of ammo. Damn, that's a shame. Big shame, big shame. 116 kills right now, definitely having a good one. I did bad for a while there, but I'm playing alright now. Mm, this is tough, really good running from this guy, he's getting away from really fast. Hey, Banana King, pretty sure he's a viewer. Oh, I flicked really good there, but I got killed by Autumn. Autumn, who also plays on the 4v4 server, he plays really, really good, and his sniping is actually very good, even on 4v4. We were very surprised that in that kind of competitive sort of gameplay sort of area, that sniping actually did really, really well. Oh, there's a guy behind me really close. That could be someone. Damn, really good kill there. See, there's an MP7 killing me. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's keep moving, shall we? Let me do this. See right there, I saw that guy go behind the pillar. So all I did was aim head height and I, it was a 50-50 as where he'd go left or right. But I assumed he'd go right because the pillar was so small that I just, I don't know, I assumed he would go like, like this to the right as opposed to going like this and then backing up. Okay. Ooh, dang. This is gonna be a tough one. I'm gonna fast reload. Oh my god, is one using the Scar H? Yo! Uh, nice Scar H1. I'm muted, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I, uh, for the live commentary, I don't want to have to come through and edit and, um, turn him down a bunch. That's a shame. Ah, oh, let's move over to C here. I'm totally cool with this. I'm gonna go like this and jump over the top. Very lucky that person aimed bad, but that's the thing about W King. You play off of the fact that other people aren't very good, which is a big shame. Like, that shouldn't be... It shouldn't be that easy to play off people's mistakes. You should have to intentionally be playing off of a mistake instead of being complete luck. No, that was actually a really good shooting from that guy. I definitely could have played better and killed him. Um, Alright, let's actually go here and go D. This is a fantastic spot. Oh, wow. Fantastically not where I thought it was. <laughs> I thought he was um like back here. That's my bad. I didn't realize there was like this bridge thing. Right, I'm actually going to spawn in on Russia and move up like this. 
and see if I can get some kills. There's a lot of enemies on D, so that means a lot of potential kills when I'm W keying. So let's have a look. Let's keep moving in. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. What do you guys reckon about this kind of gameplay? Like, I, I, I personally think that it's... I don't like playing like this. Playing like this does not fulfill me as like a person. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't feel fulfilled playing like this at all. So I, I generally don't. But I do sort of when like... When we've got a lot of people on and they're all like good players and I kind of want to show off and try to get a really high number, I do this kind of play style. Um, but I definitely do not do this off of camera very much. Or not off camera, but on my own very much, if you know what I mean. Yo, what's going on? Absolute legend. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Holy moly. That is epic. He was watching my videos on the side. Here, footsteps underneath, so I'm going to go like this. And take him out. Not a whole lot of enemies here. I don't know where they all went because there were a lot. Oh, did they flank and try to go to the car park and get some kills? Let's see if these guys are getting kills here. I don't know. Don't think so. Alright, let's start moving. Big front line of people here. I don't think that's actually because of enemies. Uh, actually, there's a few X's appearing. Yeah, it could be because of enemies. B's being capped by them too. Alright, let's go along this concrete wall and then peek over here. Because I know that this peak's really good because I die to people doing it all the time. Oh, that's a shame. Let me jump over instead. The only reason I jumped that concrete wall was because I saw teammates were on the other side. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Let's check this. Hmm. It's going to be tough to get some kills here. Fast reload, dropping my mag. Mm, this is very tough. That player who's playing near the doorway played really good. That guy where I'm aiming, like, sort of at him through the wall. Like, I can't quite tell exactly where he is, but in that direction, he played really good. Um, his movement was impeccable. He was just keeping me not being able to kill him for a super long amount of time. Okay, let's keep moving here. They generally don't expect you to re-peak that quickly, so they'll actually hold an angle, which is kind of weird. Like, it's hard to explain, but holding an angle is actually very bad to do if someone's going to re-peak you. Um, uh, whatever, I don't want to pick these up anymore. That was a good... Uh, that guy pre-fired. That's really good. Good pre-fire there from the enemy. Man, I, I should go as hard as I can here and try to drop 200. I think I actually could if I played good. Really good respawn. From that teammate, that was the viewer. That's a shame. That guy's not happy I drop shot. Okay, this is tough. I know W King is the play, but right now I actually do need to heal. I'm just too tagged to go against that enemy. And the reason I think that is because that enemy's movement was so good. Really good kill from Chad there, far out. The first enemy I was versing the sniper, his movement was actually so good that I was worried to re-peak him on low health because I thought. If he's that good, he probably is aware that I'm going to re-peak and everything, and he's just not going to let me get my advantage. So, it'd be a tough kill to get. This is really hard to get on the roof here. Oh, man. I'm trying to look for a rope here. What I might do instead is go like this. And go like that. That's a really good tip to get above. Ah, oh, dang, I'm probably not going to be able to get 200. Now, 140, that's 60 kills. I thought I was on 160. I, I won't be able to hit a 200 here at all. But, ah, uh, well, you know, I still played pretty good in my opinion. Uh, let's move through here and try to get over to A as fast as possible. In between A and C is where I want to be. A and C is The Walking Dead. AMC's The Walking Dead. Do you guys like The Walking Dead? Does anyone here watch The Walking Dead in the comments? Let me know if you're even watching to this point, actually, because this is pretty late in the video, I'd assume. Um... But yeah, let me know. Ooh, whoopsie, this is tough. Oh, no! Oh, no, man, I'm playing really bad now. I'm absolutely plateauing in kills. Oh, it's such a shame. Let's switch up squads. Yeah, I guess this is the play. Dang, that's a shame. I, I wish I could have gotten an even higher kill game for you guys, but I played really bad. Oh, let's have a look. Wow, good shooting. I'm going to ignore it because we're W King up in this. Dang, that's a shame. Let's respawn again and W key again. 
because that's the thing I'm showing. Wow, really good kills. Far out. This is tough as heck. I think a C4 there would have been really good. Oh, man, I can't respawn on anybody. Dang, bad spawns. It's tough. Spawning on C would be bad. It'd be further from where the enemies are coming. The enemies should be coming towards D, I expect. Yep, here we are. Ooh, I'm going to back up as fast as I can. Dang, I thought I could jump around the corner fast enough. That's a shame. Oh, let's have a look. Tough as heck. This is so tough. My opinion, that's pretty good movement there to get up. That's a shame. How are you not dead? That guy's saying that to me. How are you not dead? Because I was just running around. See, right there, it's like if you don't, if you pretend the enemies don't exist, do you, they actually end up like ignoring you, which is really weird. Yeah, that's a shame. Sorry that the last half of this was pretty sparse of kills, but um, I think the first half would have shown you guys what I mean by a W key playstyle. Because people often say that I do that. And it just frustrates me because it's like I really feel like I don't. Like, this, for me, feels like I'm playing very different than normal. Dang, that's a shame. I think I can get another kill before it ends. Oh, really good kill from that guy. He headshot me too, I can tell. Really good shooting. I'd like to respawn really bad right now. Oh, I really want to get one more kill. Oh, just one more. Ah, that's assist counts as kill, so that'll count um, on the leaderboard, I think. Such a shame. Yeah, 151. Heck yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, well, I'm getting iced right now. But, um, GG. That was really fun. Um, I generally... Oh, Game Boy got more XP to me. Nice. I, um, yeah, I generally don't like playing like that, though. It just ends up feeling a bit, um... I don't know. It just feels like I didn't even play good. You know what I mean? It feels like I just... Literally just WK'd and didn't actually think at all. But, you know... Either way, that's how the game works right now. That is how you maximize the amount of kills. I don't think that that's a good thing. I think that's a bad thing that that's how you maximize kills, but it is what it is. So anyways, thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.